Hello, this is William from Tortoise IT. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Divi pop-up module. This has been a highly requested video, and in particular the aspect of using the CSS class and ID as a trigger for the Divi pop-up module. So I'm going to be showing you how to use the Divi pop-up module plugin. But before I do that, let me just show you some quick and handy links that are brilliant for using the Divi pop-up module plugin. So we start here, which is the documentation website for Tortoise IT. I will leave a link for this in the description box of this video. Our documentation website is packed with information on how to use a range of our plugins from Tortoise IT. This particular page is about the Divi pop-up module, which I'll be showing you how to use today. Scrolling down the page, you can read about basic information on the plugin. Our old how-to video, this is now our new video that I'm recording today. The quick start guide for the plugin, followed by trigger types. Information on how to use the pop-up styles. Followed by the pop-up and modal content. This can be a layout, video, image, content or iframe. Notes on the plugin. And of course, screenshots of how we use the plugin. If you haven't already purchased our plugin, you can download it over on elegantmarketplace.com. I will leave a link down in the description box below for where you can download the plugin. So without further ado, let's get started on how to use the Divid Pop-Up Module plugin. For this example, I'm going to be using a fresh page to show you how to use the Divi Pop-Up Module. You can add the Divi Pop-Up Module on any page that uses the Divi Builder. So I'm going to start by adding the trigger of where I want my plugin to uh, be sourced from. So for this video, I am going to set up a simple pop-up. It won't be anything fancy, but it'll show you how it works. And I'm going to use my trigger as a text module. There we go. So I'm going to put example text trigger. That's my trigger for this. You can style it, of course, as normal. And then I'm going to apply a custom CSS class, which for this example will be trigger. And go to save and exit. You then need to use the pop-up and modal builder. I'm going to put an example heading. Followed by this, you have your pop-up source options. You've got video, which will be a, a URL of where your video comes from image which again can be a URL or you can use the standard image upload function from the WordPress media library. You have the content and editor which is just a standard text field. Again you can use images and style that as normal. You can use a predefined layout from the Divi library or alternatively you can embed a YouTube or other media sharing website video using iframe. For the example purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Content Editor. Here is where you can add images, style your text as normal. For this example, I'm just going to use a simple sentence for my for the content inside my pop-up. Following this, we have our trigger type options. We have button, image, class or ID, and at, at page loads. Again, the most requested part of my video is using a text trigger. So I'm going to go to class or ID and all I need to do is use the same class that I did on my text module which is trigger. If you're not familiar with coding all you need to do with it if you use the ID field you need to use the hash sign and trigger and if it's the uh, CSS class you want to use a full stop trigger again that name will be unique to whatever you use in your site just make sure you don't use a word or phrase that will be used elsewhere on your site as you could cause a conflict in your code. Below this we have our four pop-up styles. You can only use one style per page and you can see the examples of these styles on the following links. That's really handy for picking the best format for your pop-up. Again, for the purposes of this video I'm going to be using style one. Here you can define your pop-up width and pop-up height. Leaving them blank will let them default at 80%. 
you can style your pop-up and its content using the advanced design settings and again there's custom CSS should you want to use it. Going now to save and exit and update Okay, so here you can see the results of my pop-up. As you can see, it's not very um, it's not very fancy, but it does the job for the example. So here you have the heading that I assigned, and below this is my text trigger. This was the text module. Simply by clicking the trigger, it brings up my pop-up, and it contains the content that I assigned in my content and editor field. I do hope this video has been of some help to you and has helped you achieve your goals online with your website. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to open a support ticket at our website. I will leave a link in the description box below for where you can find our support website and also our documentation websites. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you will enjoy the products that are to come in the future from Tortoise IT. Thank you.